thank you so much for clicking this video. In this video, I'm just going to be taking you through a week of working in a printmaking studio, and I'm just going to be showing you the kind of things I create and my process. Printmaking is honestly the last thing I thought I would enjoy doing. I've never been super enthusiastic about printmaking. I've accidentally cut myself so many times trying to carve linoleum. So just the whole like thought of it, I was just like, okay, I'll just take this printmaking course. I need a studio art class. And I ended up actually really enjoying it. And I created so many prints and I learned so much about myself. So now I'm doing a process called etching. And in this process, I basically scratched into a plastic plate and I filled those scratches with ink. And once the ink is filled in all of the little scratches, I'm wiping away the excess ink and I'll roll it through the press and the pressure from the press will pull the ink from the scratches onto the paper. And it helps that we dampen the paper so that the ink, I guess, is pulled from it easier. It's actually kind of hard to visualize and explain, but um, this is definitely one of the most tedious processes. There's so many steps to etching and you can only run it through the press a number of times before the scratches become like less and less deep so I was definitely trying hard to get some good prints on the first couple of tries. I noticed when talking about printmaking or making prints, people think I'm talking about making something digital, when actually printmaking is a very traditional art form. It's just the process of using ink and applying it to paper or another textured surface and being able to make multiples of that same image. And now it's time to roll the print through the press and I'm just setting the paper on there. I use something called a registration template and it's just so that I line the paper up the exact same way every time. And I'm just very careful not to get any fingerprints or smudges on it because it really takes away from the image. And so once I have that on there, I'm just ready to roll it through the press. I think the biggest hassle of printmaking is actually the cleanup and I'm pretty sure a lot of other printmakers would agree. Cleanup is just so time consuming and you have to make sure you clean these things right because you want to be able to use them again. So here I'm just cleaning up and oil and water will mainly do the trick. Um, I use a rack to really get up all the excess ink and then I'll use solvent to clean my etching plate. And that's basically it. It just takes so long because you have to keep scrubbing and make sure you clean every tool very well so that you can be able to use them again and also because we share tools.
Yeah, so this day my cycle came on and I don't think I did anything else that day. So I did not vlog, but I'm just gonna skip to the next day now. Here is my nighttime routine and it's super simple. I honestly don't use a lot of products and I try to keep it very basic because my skin is sensitive, but I use the Cetaphil to wash my face day and night. And honestly, I just use whatever I like from my Ipsy shipment each month. I'll just kind of stick with certain things that work really well for me. And that is the Murad Retinol Cream and the Infinity Sleeping Mask for my lips. And that's all I do, along with the rose spray. I am bad about moisturizing my scalp, so I do try to do it at night, because I can add it to my little routine. But I'm just using the Curlsmith Density Elixir, and I know they have an oil for the morning and the nighttime, so I try to use them at the right times. But they're both super good, and I really love Curlsmith products. So I'm going to journal now. Um, this is my journal. I made this in the beginning of the year if you like ever saw it in another video. I'm so behind on some of my assignments. So now I'm just going to send emails apologizing for not turning stuff in or coming to class. And then I'm going to go to my senior studio art class and then I'll show you my mono printing um, process and then um, I'll probably try to write the paper I was supposed to write. I'm supposed to work out today but am I gonna work out? I don't know. Since I don't have class until 2, I'm going to be working on my video for this week that I'm gonna upload. It's a painting video and watch YouTube, basically. So for this day, I'm doing a different kind of printing and this is mono printing. And basically I'm going to be putting ink on a plastic plate and I will create my own designs and my own texture and I'll just see what comes out of it and I'll run it through the press.
So now I'm showing you the other kind of printmaking I do, which is linoleum carvings. And this one is super like labor intensive. It took forever to carve these out. I did these fall of 2020, but since it was like online during the um, pandemic, I didn't have, you know, good materials and I especially didn't have a press. So the prints didn't really come out as good as I had hoped. But now that I'm working with a press and really nice ink, I figured I'd go ahead and try to see if I could get some really nice prints. So I'm ending my vlog here because this is all I did for the rest of the day, but thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to leave a comment, like, and subscribe.